Welcome to the D2 Incorporated JFW1NP for particle counting video. In this video we're going to show you how we've upgraded the highly popular hydrolyte on the screen here for particle counting. The JFWA1NP is the upgrade for the now obsolete Navy CCFD device, which stands for Contaminated Fuel Detecting Equipment. And our device is new upgrades for this old technology. You still use the vacuum pump of the CCFD, but the hydrolyte does all the detection. And it detects all the free water and dirt in the fuel, especially important for jet fuel and especially important for the Navy. So the JFWA1NP automates this process. Good afternoon. My name is Al Fougere. I'm a D2 Incorporated. Today we're going to talk about a new measurement technique for measuring uh, particulate contamination in aviation fuels. Uh, this is a technique that uh, has actually been in use by the U.S. military for about uh, 20 years. Um, it's based on a twin filter measurement, in which you put two filters, one back to back, and you pull the jet through full, through the two filters. You then separate the two filters. One is used to measure the background or the staining of the fuel. And the second one, which is uh, the top one, which has collected all the particulate, is then measured. The measurement is made using a light obscurance. Um, we use a modified version of our uh, hydrolyte instrument to actually make the measurement. Um, so the test is based on two of these cellulose uh, 0.65 micron filters. Um, we package them together uh, in a package so that the user can take them and put them in the holder. This, this is a modified holder from the traditional holder in that the traditional holder holds a 37 millimeter filter and this is a 25 millimeter filter. Uh, the reason for the change in size is just that the hydrolyte's based around a one inch filter. So the two filters go into the sampling device like that and are just simply clamped together and that's ready to go. Um, uh, today I'm going to make the fuel sample. Uh, we're using a, a clay treated jet fuel which we've uh, known by particulate uh, measurement to be essentially free of particulate. Uh, the Navy um, test is based on 500 milliliters and they use these standard bottles and uh, which are marked with a 500 milliliter line. Uh, they also have an 800 milliliter line in, in the event that they want to run an 800 milliliter test. So basically we just measure in 500 milliliters of fuel. And uh, for, for particular today we're using a, 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 a ISO 12 103-1A4 uh, coarse test dust, which is a, a standard that's pretty widely used in the industry. And the range of the measurement is uh, 0 to 15 uh, milligrams per liter. So since we have 500 milliliters of fuel, um, we can really only put in about 7 uh, uh, milligrams of test dust, which is a very small amount. Um, so basically I have a scale set up here and uh, uh, we sort of need the next level of precision in scales, but uh, we're just going to measure in about, there's, there's, well that came out to be a little high, about 17 milligrams, so I got to get rid of a little bit of that. Uh, and you can see we're actually talking about a very small amount of test dust. So we're still a little strong. Okay, so there we have about 9 milligrams of test dust. And we're just going to put that into our sample and uh, shake it up to mix it. Um, to pull the fuel through the filters, So once the fuel sampled through the filters, you can take the holder off, take it apart, and you take the, the two filters. It's two filters, so it's two measurements. So here I have, now I have both of them. So you can see they're separated. So you can put the first filter in, and on the hydrolyte, 
this little magnetic detector, when it's over on the right, it knows that it's doing particulate. And you plug it into the hydrolyte, and the hydrolyte will switch to particulate mode. So it's getting the data for the first pad, reading through. And then it says install the next pad. So there's no order involved. You can do the pads in either order. Um, so here's the second pad. Now this is the, the reference pad, which has just been <coughs> stained by the fuel. So we plug the second pad in. And for as long as we leave the second pad in there, it'll, it'll get data and it'll calculate the parts per million. So there you see, we put in 10 parts per million and we get an 11 milligram, 10.2 milligrams, 10.9 milligram uh, per liter reading from the hydrolyte. So that's basically the way the measurement works. Um, we just demonstrated how the uh, new hydrolyte particle measures the two pads. You can see the two pads are still here and they're They've dried out, so you can see the top pad with the particulate on it and the, the pad without the particulate. So it's, it kind of gives you an indication of, uh, of how it's changed. Now, in the original CCFD, there was a calibration process that the uh, uh, engineers had to do to calibrate the uh, optic detector. Um, and, and as most of you are aware who use the hydrolyte, we have for the water pad a calibration standard shuttle which, which can be put into the unit and it'll read on the low end, it'll read the 1.6 part per million uh, standard and then it can be uh, flipped over and it'll read the, uh, the high standard which is 39. You can see it reads 39.2. So that was a very easy way for people to verify the instance working correctly before they put a uh, actual test, a field test water pad in. So for the uh, particulate tenth uh, aspect of the instrument, we made another standard shuttle, which works in a similar manner. Um, it has two positions, and simply you, you just slide the unit in, and it'll, it, it'll sense that it's a particulate and switch to the particulate mode, and it'll start reading the first pad. And you can see it's getting data. This is an identical measurement that when you're actually doing the measurement, so this is doing the same thing. It's only difference is, is that we have two standards in here, two optic standards. So then you slide the shuttle in and it reads the second pad just as it was doing here. And then it'll calculate that result. And we have the standard shuttle set up for 18 parts per million. So uh, the, this, the, the, the standard deviation is about plus or minus two parts per million. So, so it's way up at the high end and it gives the user a very good indication that the um, instrument is working correctly. That's the high end. Um, and then it, you pull it out and it changes back to the particular mode. Uh, the other question we get asked a lot about is the two pads. You can see they've dried out, but in the original uh, method, the Navy, uh, they, they do tell you that if you have a dried out pad, you can simply soak it in fuel and then put it back in and redo the measurement. Um, so here I just soaked that one pad that we just measured, and I'll plug it in. It'll change over to the parts per million measurement. Now, the one thing about the instrument is it does like to see the two pads. Uh, it, it'll time out if the second pad isn't installed in, in, a, in a reasonable amount of time, 30 seconds. So you have 30 seconds to make the two measurements. So it does sort of keep you on track uh, in terms of, uh, of doing the two measures within a reasonable period of time. So then we, we install the second pad and it'll start making the measure. And then again, we should get our 10 parts per million. So you can see we, we made the measurement, we got 10 parts per million, and uh, we then we let the pads dry out, we remeasured and we get the same 10 parts per million, which, which was exactly the number we were looking for. So that's the, uh, the new particulate measure instrument. Uh, you can see it's housed in the same uh, box. It uh, basically uh, you can upgrade your uh, hydrolyte unit to this, and we have our USB uh, connector, which is also power. Um, all the data is available uh, through the USB port as needed, and it, we also have our standard wall adapter plug-in. Uh, it's a light unit, uh, and you have uh, 
the standard sampling equipment for the uh, uh, either the water or the particulate pad um, and that's that's the new unit